The Vance Owen plan was dead, and with it the last hope for a united, multi-ethnic Bosnia. The Serbs could now continue to build their independent state. In the south, the Bosnian Croats, who had been in alliance with the Muslims, also began to carve out their own state. We had a very strong front here, with the Chetnici in Bosnia and Herzegovina, for a long time, about 1,000 km. Ja sam činio sve da se ne otvori i drugi front koji je stalno više u zraku. President Izabegović was desperate to hold on to his ally. He traveled through Serb lines to meet the commander of the Bosnian Croat army in Mostar. Ujutro smo se dogovorili, on je u jedan stan na nekom četvrtom katu, ujutro došao zapravo je to starac i pa koji popili smo kavu. Ja sam taj dan imao dogovoran razgovor s njime o nekim našim problemima dole u Hercegovini, jer je i tu situacija bila između nas dosta teška između armije i HVO. Gledajte, ne treba kriti činjenicu da narod u Hercegovini bi bio najsretniji da Hercegovina i cijeli dio pripadne Hrvatskoj. Vidjelo se da Boban i njegovi ljudi idu na sukob. Idu na sukob zato da ocijepe komad Bosne i Hercegovine, da je pripoje Hrvatskoj. Jasno je taj plan bio skoro jasan. There was good reason to be afraid. The Croat president and his Serb counterpart had long toyed with dividing Bosnia between them. A year before, a television crew had chanced on the Bosnian Serb leader in Austria. He was there for a secret meeting with the more discreet leader of the Bosnian Croats, who had arrived in this car. The two leaders met behind these doors. It was a very good and useful conversation. Boban thought that the Croats should concentrate on their territories Herceg Bosna je kao ideja bez imena bila trajna u hrvatskom narodu u Bosni i Hercegovini. Jednostavno, došli smo do saznanja da postoje neke teritorije koje su sporne, ali da ne vredi da ginu momci za to. Niti ćemo mi Srbi dobiti sve što želimo, niti će Hrvati dobiti sve što žele. I sastanak je trajao u smislu da su Srbi kazali da je njihova vojna opcija da granica Srbije mora biti rijeka Neretva. The Bosnian Croats turned on their former Muslim allies. The battle was orchestrated by the commander in chief of all Croat forces. Ja sam naredio da ne šaljemo hrvatske postrojbe u unutrašnjost Bosne sve tamo do Dervente, do boja radi sprečavanja nego li da se ograničimo na obranu hrvatskih područja. Muslim villages stood in their way. The Croat army had for a year been bolstered by thousands of Muslim fighters. Now the Croats interned their former comrades. Dakle, razoružavanja, kad su logori postali, kad je dakle negdje ljudi trebalo staviti, sjećam se da sam gospodinu Bruni Stojić, koji je bio ministar obrne, rekao, Bruno, pazite dobro, Nemojte raditi nešto čega ćemo se stiditi. At a military airport near Mostar, a journalist talked his way into one of the camps. Tad su svi ljudi bili dovedeni u te tankove, u te cisterne, praktično u te skladišta za benzin koja je koristila bivša Jugoslovenska narodna armija, gdje je bio taj, bila kasarna jedna, 
To su bili skladišta u zemlji, u brežuljcima, a bile su ogromne vrućine i imali su samo jedan mali otvorčić od 20 cm kvadratnih kroz kojih je ulazio zrak. Ljudi su bukvalno umirali. To je jednostavno jedna vrsta ludila i pogreške koja se dogodi kad bude puno naših momaka masakrirano i tako dalje. Uzavre ta krv do granica kad se evo onda ne promišljaju u stvari do te mjere da se onda napravi jedan lobar kojeg se treba stiljeti kao čovjek i kao Hrvat. Responsibility for the camps went right to the top of the Croat government. Postojanje logora nije moglo biti bez znanja predsjednika Tuđmana. Onda sam ja ispomenuo logore i tko to ko to organizira. On kaže, ne možemo se mi Hrvati samo optuživati. Možda ima nešto, ali, ali i drugi imaju logore. To nije, to nije bilo opravdanje. Driven on by the fear of total annihilation, the lightly armed Muslims fought back. The Croat advance was broken. In retaliation, the Croats targeted the Mostar Bridge, which Muslims had built 400 years earlier. It was four years to the day since the Berlin Wall had come down, ushering in the new world order. But in the case of Bosnia, two American administrations had stood by, leaving the Europeans to police their own continent. There will be no unilateral use of United States force. As we have said before, we are not and we cannot be the world's policemen. The United States is not prepared uh, to put uh, ground troops uh, into Bosnia in order to uh, resolve or impose a solution onto the conflict there. The Americans decided it was time to weigh in. The strategy was to isolate the Serbs by first settling the war between the Muslims and the Croats. If you lined up all of the territorial issues that were on the table, and then you said how many of those would go away if we had a Muslim-Croat federation supported by Croatia, a huge, huge portion of them disappeared off the table. The Americans applied some strong arm tactics. President Tudjman was warned that if he continued his war against the Muslims, Croatia too would face UN sanctions. It would leave uh, Croatia essentially isolated in the Balkans, uh, along with uh, probably uh, Serbia equally isolated. Uh, and uh, that didn't seem to be a particularly desirable long-term outcome for a country like Croatia. The Americans knew that Tudjman wanted to take back territories held by the Serbs in Croatia. To do so, he would need American support. President Tudjman risked having no support from the international community in its own efforts to recover the 27% of Croatia that's under uh, Serbian occupation. Tudjman chose the American way. Da isto tako bilo mi je jasno da treba spriječiti da, da na tlu Bosne ne dođe do civilizacijskog sukoba i između zapadne civilizacije i islamske civilizacije i zbog toga e, zapadni svijet je preporučivao e, nama sporazom sa muslimanima. Within weeks, President Clinton presided over a diplomatic triumph. The presidents of Croatia and Bosnia signed an alliance to end one of Bosnia's wars. 